Welcome to a 360 degree video review of the new BMW 7 Series. Now this is just a technological tour de force and please stay in this video because halfway through it I'm going to do something that is so cool it will blow your mind. So don't click out too soon because you'll miss that. Now like I say this car's full of tech. I mean look at this right. So I have got around cameras with just a control so if I do that look see I can look around the car we've got a virtual car there it's a bit like I'm playing Gran Turismo. Look, look at that, look. It's just insane. There we go. Right, go over above a certain speed and it switches off there. Now, as well as using the normal iDrive system or touchpad to do stuff, you can use it as a touchscreen. Look at that. Or gesture controls. So if I want to turn the stereo, I just go like that. Turn that down. There we go. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. We've got a fully digital driver's display there. And on the whole, this is well, it's a fantastic car. I love some of the features such as this screen down here for the climate control and the heated seats. Better turn that down, otherwise I'll have a sweaty ass. I don't want that, not nice. Although I could always call my butt off with the air vents there. Also, you've got, look, look at this, ionized air. So the air is as pure as if you're on the top of a mountain and you can have it centered if you want to. But the coolest thing I'm gonna show you right now, this is going to blow your mind. So I'm gonna stop the car there, let's stop it. Right, I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna get this little key out. Now this key, if you look, it's a bit like an Apple, look, a bit like an Apple iWatch. And it allows me to remotely control the car. I'll just put this window down so if I press this button, all right, there we go. It's searching for the car. The key is connecting to the car, it's connected. Now if I press this button on the side and hold it down. Oh wait, there we go. Doesn't like it when it's inside the car. Okay, come on. There we go. So once the key's connected to the car, sorry about this, it takes a bit of a while. There we go, I press this button. I can start the engine remotely, wait for it. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Now watch this, I can actually control the car, make it drive forwards by using this remote. And I can pretty much ghost ride the whip. Oh yeah, this is just a little bit freaky, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. So the idea is, is that I can pull it out of a very tight parking space that you wouldn't normally be able to get out of the doors because it was so tight, or reverse it into your really, really narrow garage because you live in central London and space is at a premium. So there you go, I am completely controlling the car by remote control. How insane is that? Right, enough of that shenanigans. We're on the twisty handling part of our course. Oh, it's got wireless charging as well, just so you know. So like I said, on the handling part of our course, let's just put the window up, then we go, let's start the car. God, I'm getting all confused by the tech, it's too much. Go on window, right, here we go. So seven series, let's put those mirrors out always was the sportier of the limousines. However, for this new one, BMW have gone a different tack. They've tried to match the Mercedes S-Class in terms of comfort. It goes around corners all right, but it does feel a little bit more barge-like than the previous 7 Series. This is the 740D X-Drive, so it's got all-wheel drive for added grip, but you really can feel this car's weight, even though it's, well, part of its structure is made from carbon. And it, yeah, you do have a sports mode, but really I wouldn't bother. Put it in comfort. In fact, put it in comfort plus. And then it's like really, really relaxing the ride quality. Now it's not quite as polished as Mercedes S-Class. It does just fidget over smaller bumps a bit more than the S-Class, but still on the whole, it is super luxurious to waft around in. Very, very nice indeed. There is one problem I have with this car though, and that's when you're pulling out at junctions. If you look over there, look at that. That's a massive pillow, it's a huge blind spot. If I was turning that way and kind of looking around it like that at junctions, it's pain in the neck. This is quite a thick pillar as well, which creates another big blind spot. Shame, because out the back, the view is actually pretty good. Now this engine is super quick. That noise I think is a bit fake. I think it's played through the speakers to make it sound less diesel-y. Gearbox, eight speed, awesome best in the business. Quality of the materials, oh, I actually think it's 
posher. It feels posher than the Mercedes S-Class. The design maybe isn't quite as elegant, but the materials do feel more expensive. It just feels a bit more solid. I like these things as well. You've got ceramic buttons. You have to pay extra for those, but they do feel nice. And look, I can alter the temperature coming out the vents there like that, just touch sensitive. It's all very, very impressive. I do like it. Oh, and let's just put the blinds up. Can I do it? Can I do it? Do I know how to do it? There we go, press that button. There we go, blinds in the back so that the VIPs can have a good sleep. Right, let's turn all that stuff off so you can hear what I'm saying. Turn off! There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick drive out in the BMW 7 Series. Now, if you click it there, you can get more video content on this car. But yeah, what an impressive machine. Thanks for watching.